Welcome to Jacksonville, annual site of one of the best rivalries in the sport. The Gators and the Dogs. You put them together on a football field, sparks fly and memories are made. This is the kind of game that can help define an entire season. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on another team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Bulldogs will kick this away to get us going. Turn starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the Gators offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in the stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. It's a nice job by this defense. They saw option, actually forced the quarterback to pull the ball on the read, and then they corral him for a loss. You could tell they worked hard on that in practice. They got some ground to make up, second and long from the 15. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Sets up as a third and three here on this opening possession. Dropping back, it's Mertz. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Moves the ball out across the 30, and it's good for a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Second down after that previous play. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Wilson. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive back staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Got to pick up the third and short through the air. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Returner tackle right there. That's when they'll start the drive. The Bulldogs offense comes out for their first possession today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. They'll tackle them at the 27. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Second down play coming up. Motion now from the tight end. And there's the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. 
And remember, the last time these rivals met, Kirk, these guys dropped the hammer. It, it got ugly. And Chris, don't underestimate the mental anguish that that can put on a team. It's important that this defense plays well and tries to get the ball back to their own offense to give them a chance to build their confidence up. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line to give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Well, the defense coordinator this week, all week, telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Now it's second down here. Takes the handoff, looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. It's a huge game. The stop is finally made at the 41-yard line. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. The dogs pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's play action. Quick throw to his receiver. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. Georgia now operating in the red zone. Using his legs, it's ETN. He's got some room. Can he get there? And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What an opening drive by this offense, and especially this running back. Every single time they gave him the ball, he's getting positive yards behind that big offensive line. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, you better make some adjustments and do it in a hurry. You got to get more guys committed to the line of scrimmage to stop this run game. Now the important point after attempt. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Returner looking to make a play here. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Florida offense retakes the field. The last drive, they came up empty. Had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? They're going to run it. Stop after a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. Send the back in motion. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Catch made on the left side. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. I think it's important to kind of let your quarterback get into a rhythm early in the game. Sure, you'd love to see the big gains, but plays like this allow the quarterback to get settled into the game, find his rhythm, and then he can make the bigger plays later on. On third and short, they hand the ball off. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Tailback takes the handoff again. 
Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Tay, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Short pass finds the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there, big versus big. Really good defenses put an emphasis on winning the early downs. That means holding your own on first and second down. So you force the offense to consistently have to try on third and long. That's exactly what's happened here in this series. That's caught. It's Wilson. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. And the Gators will send their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Bringing it back, it's Evans. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards. Didn't quite get the first down, but they're what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense, and they better defend this style of play moving forward. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Offense getting set. It's second down. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They tackle him, but not before he makes the 45. A solid game. I think the defense got fooled here. They thought that receiver was going to go deep downfield. He ends up curling back to the inside for a nice game. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Yeah, Chris, not an ideal play here when you throw the football and you go the wrong direction. I think we got to look at the playbook here to see how we can try to make those yards up. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Back to pass. It's back. There's a wide open receiver complete. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. The dogs are moving quickly down the field. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. And he's brought down there. Oh, the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line. You love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. Coming up, second down and goal. 
Tailback tests the middle of the defense. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Good job by the offensive line. You get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Game moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now. Sir. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. Using his legs, it's Johnson. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And he's got it again. An effective play. Good for a first down of the 35. Well, Chris, you think about over the years with the Gators and their offense, it's always about Steve Spurrier and spreading it out and fun and gun and attacking downfield. I think these great Gator teams, they have an ability to do what we just saw right here pick up a first down on the ground, relying on an offensive line and their running back. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. You've got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Makes the grab. It's Wilson. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Offense facing a third and short from the 41, and they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Oh, the pass is picked off. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway to give the offense the football at the 46. How about the big fella coming up with the interception? You don't see that very And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? Grab behind the line. It's Urasek. He is a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the cornerback gets him. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. And here's the handoff. Get some space around the 30. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Chris, a really good job here by this back to be able to find that hole and pick up the yards for this first down. And, boy, Georgia's had some good backs over the years, and this young man is living up to that tradition today. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. 
Play action here on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Touchdown, Georgia. A strong game by this quarterback. That's the kind of execution that's built on the practice field for a very precise pitch and catch for a touchdown. Yeah, when we were out of practice, one thing that really stood out to me about this receiver was his ability to separate with his route running ability. You can see that right there on game day and how that shows up for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point makes it a three touchdown lead. Here's the kickoff team now set to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hawkins. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Getting set. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Cut quickly. They get him down pretty quickly, but it's a solid gain in that short throw. So we've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. It's third down for the offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. The Gators come to the line to run the hurry up. Here comes a first down pass attempt. That's caught. It's Johnson. Brought down, but crosses midfield to the 46. Boy, it's so easy to get caught up on the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Back to throw again. Makes a quick grab. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. That completion makes it second down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and two. Looking to pick up the first down, and that one's picked off. What a play. Not much on the return there, but a great interception to give the offense the football at the 42. Oh, how I love when this happens. The big dog up front is working hard and snatched his opportunity. Good for him. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This offense has been clicking so far. They get aggressive, go for more before halftime. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. Big play across midfield. They'll spot it near the 36. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. 
Love to see an aggressive mindset following sudden change. The quick strike here. The defense barely has a chance to even get set up and get established before they have to deal with a big shot taken over their head. The running back grabs it on a screen and heads out of bounds after a decent game. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. A completion sets up a second down play. Scanning the field, it's back. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. The completion makes it second down. receiver now before the snap second down we're going to throw it he's got it near the end zone and he will score touchdown Bulldogs oh what a play man this defense they better watch out for this tight end today it's proven right there how easily he can slip behind and get lost in coverage and if that happens this quarterback's going to find him and make you pay So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Tech on the PAT again, and it's 28 0. So, an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. Fields it inside the five yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. And the back gets the football. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Florida and Georgia plays out. The Gators will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there you go, defense. Listen, it's not been a great day for these guys, but this time they stepped up and took out some of that frustration. Nice play. They got some ground to make up. Second and long from the 15. Looking downfield, it's back. He's sacked. He'll be brought down right at the five-yard line. I personally love the aggressive approach here by this offensive coordinator. You got to take some chances. You got to create some matchups. But if you don't protect the quarterback, you have no chance. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Quick throw over the middle. 
when he can't quite hold on. A great chance for their first interception here today. But it's going to bring up fourth down. Chris, I just wonder how many times can this defense keep making plays to keep this team in this football game? They're just not getting a lot of help from their own offense. A nice job again stepping up on this third down. Interesting call here on fourth down to see if they'll get a chance to make another play to give their own offense good field position. No call for the fair catch here. The Gators offense retakes the field. Looking to throw it on first down. Snags the quick throw. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there. And the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. And completion makes it second and short. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And the pass is complete to the tight end. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big guards to set up a fresh set of downs. Well, this is what you see all over college football and even up, obviously, in the NFL. These tight ends that are really recruited as big receivers and they can get one-on-one -on -one matchups and they've got speed after the catch. This is a short throw. You can see what he does after the catch and he is a tough matchup for whether it's a safety, a nickel, or a linebacker. And the Gators trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. To throw, it's Mertz. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. And they get set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, but still trail by three touchdowns, 28-7. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Bell. It'll be tackled right at the 20. That's a good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and of course Stetson Bennett who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Hulk out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. Off the play fake on first down. Fires it to the wideout. It's incomplete. They waited all game for a chance to intercept one. Instead, a second down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, their hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. And throwing again on second and ten. Grab behind the line, it's Thomas. Finds just enough space and makes the first down. 
Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. Looking to throw it again. Caught behind the line. It's Urasek. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. George has moved into the red zone. Oh, a reverse. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contain, and that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four-down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. So they're short on fourth down. The coach decides to trot out the field goal team. Trying to connect from 40 yards out. No problem. Knocks it right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hawkins. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Florida offense retakes the field. First play of the drive, he looks left for a completion. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Here's the second down play. Back to throw. It's Mertz. The receiver makes the grab. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try it five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. With the catch, it's Badger. And the game just good enough for a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll hand it off. Defense makes the stop after a five-yard game, so second and five. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down play coming up for this offense. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And it's caught. Well executed. He finds space and gets the first down yardage. The Gators are looking to keep this drive going. And the back now goes in motion. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught in the backfield. It's Johnson. 
And he's tackled after the catch. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. To the air. It's Mertz. It's a quick grab. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Man-to-man -man coverage, you run the drag route, you prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. Urgency now for the offense that hates to come up empty on this drive, down multiple scores. Can he make it to the marker? Brought down at the 40, that'll be a first down. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. The Gators come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught near the sticks. It's Badger. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Florida. Boy, the timing here is essential between the quarterback and the receiver. you got to find that window between the linebackers. He does it, puts the ball right on the money, and then how about the speed after the catch by the receiver for the touchdown? Now the try for two. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes the catch for the two-point conversion as they continue to cut into this lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bringing it out, it's Bell. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They've got the lead, but hadn't settled for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. Grab behind the line. It's ETN. And the soft were able to bring him down quickly. Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. We'll give it to the running back. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. And that's going to be a first down, and, and really, Chris, kind of surprised here in the fourth quarter not to see this defense dial up some pressure. They're just sitting back in the base, making it relatively easy for the offense to pick up a first down on the ground. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down of the 47. Well, anytime you can have a balanced attack, it's always going to help an offense. And, you know, the previous play, they're running the football. That puts a lot of pressure on the eyes of the linebackers and safeties. They start to think about defending the run, and a great job with that play-action call to get them out of position and be able to hit that for that conversion. The offense with some pre-snap motion. The shotgun running play call. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers and make the play. Important second down play coming up. Receiver in motion now. Close to the tight end. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. 
mean, Chris, look at this guy. Now, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. The Bulldogs are in the red zone now. He's going to hand this off. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And now the handoff. Zero running room stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Not able to connect. Incomplete. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? The Dodge will come to the line on fourth down, looking to keep the drive going. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. First down here for this offense. Wow, Chris, I don't know. You've got control of this game, and you go for it here? A little bit confusing. Why even allow your opponent any chance of anything? Finish out the win and just punt it away. Second down after that previous play. It's a draw to the back. He's past the marker and still going. He stopped him, but he gets out across the 25-yard line. Hey, how about the quarterback here with his eyes downfield selling the pass to open that play up? Man, offensive line. Really good job of selling and then getting upfield to that second level to be able to pick up some key blocks. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. On first and ten, looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. What's well, another positive play, but man, look at the clock and look at the score. You still need a couple touchdowns to be able to get yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it. So you got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield. To throw, it's Mertz. Pass caught. And the defense brings him down. Offensively, you get to the fourth quarter, you're down in a game. You're thinking about vertical shots and getting out of bounds to try to stop the clock. If I'm a defensive coordinator, I'll give that up all game long. Short little routes, tackling them inbounds. Let's keep that clock moving. And the Gators hustle to the line to run the hurry up. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Grab near the sticks. It's Wilson. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Hey, it's a nice game here, and they get the first down to stop the clock. But late in the game, trailing by a couple scores, these receivers have got to be thinking about getting out of bounds as often as they can to preserve that clock to give them a real shot to come back to win it. Looking to throw again. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Pass caught. Second down now. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Short connection to the tight end here. That's a big play. Moves the ball down inside the 30. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. 
We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. The Gators lining up here on first and ten. To the air. It's Mertz. Defense is coming after him. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Finally, the defense is able to come up with a play on this drive. Let's face it, this offense has been able to put things together. Quarterbacks had a nice drive, but finally, great job of getting the pressure and getting after that quarterback. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Looking to pass here on second down. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Defense makes the stop after the completion. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Quarterback drops back, bringing pressure. On the junior, gets home making a sack there. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field trying to chip away at this lead. Trying for a fourth down completion. He's picked for a third time tonight. Going the other way, can they catch him? That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. The defense still has three timeouts remaining. We're hoping they decide not to use them. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. And the defense calls time here with 23 seconds left. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And a timeout taken by the defense here with 19 seconds to play. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Single back takes the handoff. They stop him after a four-yard gain, and it brings up a fourth down. And the defense calls time to stop the clock with just 16 seconds left. So now on comes the field goal unit. For the importance of this attempt, if he makes it, it's now a three-score game. And it's good. And they add to their lead. After the clutch field goal, they'll kick it off here. The offense has a long way to go. Need a touchdown and not much time. And here's the return from inside the five. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. This thing is so out of hand. All you can do now is play for a little shred of pride. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Dropping back. It's Mertz. Oh, they've got him there. The defense gets to him. Never had much of a chance, and that is the final play. 